Did you know Pac-Man was originally called Pac-Man, but out of preventative measures for the international version, they decided to change the name because they were afraid that people would change the letter P to a letter F. So yes, let's uh, model the Pac-Man right now. So first we're going to model Pac-Man. And Pac-Man of course is round. So we are going to use the UV sphere twice actually, because first we can take out one quadrant. It will already look a little bit like a Pac-Man. Select these two vertices and make a line between them. Once we've got that edge, we can fill that up and we got the inside of the mouth. You can extrude it inwards and it becomes somewhat more of a mouth with a bit of depth. Depth? I'm an astronaut. And then we can make another UV sphere, which is going to be the mouth that moves up and down we can take out the other three fourths of this mesh. So once we've done that, we've got an operating mouth. Now all that is left is texturing, perhaps make a tongue or something. And the eyes for which I use the shrink wrap modifier have it align with the mesh. So first we have to guesstimate where the camera is actually located in a- No, stop doing that. There's a better method. It's called F-Spy. And you know, you can get perspective. Stop living in the stone age. Alright, so let's dive into F-Spy. First of all, we can determine the camera position and its perspective in F-Spy. Take a still frame from a shot. And we were smart enough to make a couple of extras on a tripod. So in F-Spy, you got the X-axis and the Y-axis. And the Y-axis is green, the X-axis is red. And you must make sure these lines follow along perspectival horizons and F-Spy will interpret the position of the camera. You can use this grid to check if it all lines up. When it does, save it and import it in Blender. When you place a cube and stretch it out along the i-axis, for example, it follows along with the correct perspective. This is great, because we can now rebuild our scene exactly as necessary. I placed this building on the background because it was there in previous shots. And now press Ctrl T on the principled BSDF to assign a texture to it. Use the exact shot that we used in FSpy. Then press U to unwrap and press Project from View. Subdivide the mesh a couple of times if necessary. For this specific environment I changed the floor to a gravel texture instead of using the projection because it didn't look as good. Did you know F-Spy used to be called P-Spy but for some difficult reasons? Ah! Well what about ghosts? We can do ghosts right? Sure, you just gotta enable the class simulator. The ghost and how to animate it. I see some people use pinching techniques to move their cloth, but in this particular case the ghost had to feel like a ghost from the Pac-Man game. So what did I do? It's quite simple actually. I made a ghost shape from a cube, and then I made a plane and subdivided it as many times as I needed to. Then I enabled collision object on the model, increased the friction, etc. and dropped the cloth once to see if it works. In case it does, look for the frame where the cloth has landed nicely on our model. Place a keyframe there. From that point on, we can move it. So let's do that and bake all the dynamics. So the only two things left are the camera position and again the explosion. Explode the like button as well if you like. So the camera movement was done entirely by hand. I just picked it up, moved some keyframes, changed the focal point, and that's that. First, I scoured the internet for some wrapping paper pictures. I used Snickers and Mars and Milky Way, etc. I modeled a cube with a subdivision modifier on it to look like a candy bar. And then I projected the pictures on that geometry and cleaned up the UVs on the sides in the UV editor. Do that for all these candy bars and place them in a collection. We'll use this collection in the particle system. So let's make a shade that looks like what we need. Shift A, UV sphere. Shade smooth, subdivide perhaps and add a particle system. Go to render and use the candy bar collection. Shift around all kinds of velocities such as the normal and never forget about the angular velocity. Wish your laptop good night and press the render button. Oh hey, didn't see you there. You know, you can watch the full movie on Goose Tastic. And if you'd like to click that like and subscribe button, I'd really appreciate it. Have a nice day. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something today and uh, I'll see you next time.